flying in the face of 30 years of U.S. policy, against the recommendations and advice of most of the world, and defying the U.N., Trump decides to declare Jerusalem as Israel's capital. This is a huge shift in America's policy in the Middle East, and it could be the kiss of death to any two-state solution or peace plan. Most of Jerusalem's been under an illegal Israeli occupation for over 50 years. And now America is not only legitimizing that occupation, but rewarding it with this recognition. Since the Oslo Accords, America's so-called neutrality has really been essential to its role as a mediator in the Middle Eastern peace process. Now that they're siding with the occupiers, they can never be seen as unaligned again. If a peace plan ever continues, Trump may have just disqualified the U.S. from having any part of it whatsoever. And where is Saudi Arabia in all of this? The so-called defender of Palestine and Islam and Muslims everywhere. Netanyahu's former aide said the Saudis don't care about Palestine as long as they get Israel's help against Iran. These Palestinians, Christians and Muslims have been holding out for a peaceful solution to their illegal occupation for decades. Now, according to one Palestinian negotiator, Trump's recognition would be international anarchy and disrespect for global institutions and law. This move could destabilize the entire region, and Trump's doing it with a smile. Is Trump's action making America the most dangerous nation on Earth? As everyone else moves away from burning fossil fuels for energy into cheaper, safer, renewable energy, Trump is pushing coal and pulling America out of the Paris Agreement. While other countries are rallying to protect their national parks, Trump is giving his away to oil and gas drilling. Trump's candidacy and presidency have always been controversial, breaking international norms of what a leader is supposed to act like. Jerusalem is just the latest in a long list of foreign affairs blunders, but this may have the farthest reaching consequences.